Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. We're doing a, a house of cards. I think this is a really fun one to do. Me too. I feel like it really lives up to like the Hitman style, like the Hitman style you would expect from a Hitman game. Because it... Guess, guess where it takes place after the cutscene. Okay. That's his purse. It's not his funeral. It is. But you didn't get him in Mississippi. No. We got close. But he slipped away. He knew we were on him now. He was running scared. Where'd he go? Where does anyone go for a last desperate roll of the dice? Las Vegas. Oh, oh, oh. No, Manhattan. You notice how horrible the white font was in comparison to this guy? Yeah, but that happens like every single time. A scene like this, it's really fits in very nicely. Alright, so. We're, at, we're gonna bring our silver baller to this time. We're gonna upgrade it before we do that. Make sure option, there's 13 to select from. Make sure number one is equipped. And make sure number 11 is equipped. Everything else is unequipped. Number 11 is uh, the best silencer, and number one adds to the, makes your bullets even more silence. So after you select those, make sure you press Y to accept it. B and then make sure you actually equipped it before the mission. We have three targets this level. Is it those Muslim guys? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The German guy. They're actually South African. South Africans can still be Muslim. You said German. Oh, the schmutz guy, yeah. Um, the thing I love about this level is um, only the first guy who is like, who appears immediately is the hard, is the difficult, most difficult. So, if you do fail on him, it's you can just restart, and it won't be that big of a deal. Whereas the other two are pretty simple to take out. For this, you have to run to the bathroom. You'll see a guy. I recommend picking this lock because you're going to drag the body out here and you don't want to waste time when you're dragging it out. Sedate this guy just because there's only two people who enter this bathroom. This guy and the and the target. And this guy enters the bathroom like every 30 seconds and it's very annoying. So I quickly got rid of him. You'd have to do this quickly because there's a door in the back of this room right here where an employee will enter. Now we can wait for the target to emerge. There he is. Right on schedule. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's suspicious at all. Um, like I said, the pattern is always can always be different. Um, maybe maybe the white guy will enter at the same time as them as this guy, if that's the case, I would I would time it right so by throwing a coin down he'll get distracted and hopefully he will at least leave by the time this guy gets in here. Uh, he has a key card on him, take it. He also has a pretty sweet gun on him, take that as well. And drag his body. Don't take his outfit. Just put him in the corner here. Can you only fit one person in those cases? Yeah, and that's very unfair. There's room for like ten bodies. I don't know about ten, but definitely a second guy. <laughs> uh, here's our second target. Um, you'll most likely shoot him right here. here? <laughs> no, we'll grab a coin, drop it. I'll tell you why in a second. We want to distract him for like five seconds. Go to this elevator and call it. We want to beat. We want to beat him to the elevator. He's really obsessed with that coin. 
Yeah. You think he wouldn't need to scrounge around for coins on the ground? Uh, climb the elevator shaft, and guess what we're going to do? Uh, Grotum? <laughs> yes. I've taught you well. <laughs> this is some intensely or uh, elevator music. <laughs> like usually, you know, it's like da na 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 na. It's like some gospel chant. When I was playing it, I was actually considering just like adding like elevator music, <laughs> like to to the edit. But I don't want to seem too extravagant. You don't think um, it's a little obvious having the hatch wide open like that? Yeah. You I noticed most elevate most uh elevators in the Hitman series have their elevator hatches open for some reason. Just how it is in this universe. <laughs> Pretty much right when he gets in position you can strangle him. No one will ever notice him. Um, grab his key card. Does anyone else ever get in the elevator? Uh nope. And if they do, they're not gonna look up there. <laughs> Well, that's not what I meant, but like, if you just strangled him while he was armed with someone else. Like, hypothetically, in this game, if the elevator had like dozens of people on it, nobody would notice. <laughs> it's like, you go like, oh, God! It's like trying to grab the person beside them for help. <laughs> They're like, blatantly just ignoring him. Uh, they shuffle a step out of his reach. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this case I'm holding, it's another objective. You have to exit the level with it. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing it off the victim we just strangled. I'm bringing it to the exit. So it's basically out of the way. Once we leave the level, we can just pick it up on our way out. I'm also dropping the custom weapon. Just drop it on the ground. Because they're going to search. There's a person who's going to search us later. And we can only hide one gun at a time. You'll see what I mean. I don't know if that's, like, in a real real life, that's the most easy no, way to do it. <laughs> Just leave it on not, the floor here. It's not secure at all, but... Anyway. You'll have two options, 7th floor or 8th floor. Go to the 7th floor first. Like, most amateurs won't eat, won't hold A. They'll just tap A, and it'll, by default, bring them to the 8th floor. Go 7th floor, take a left. Typical and, amateurs. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm here for. Just go down, just follow me down this hallway. This way, guys. <laughs> um, in the room we're about to enter is the guy we just killed in the uh, bathroom. What? He, uh, you know the guy we killed in the bathroom. Yeah, he said he's here. Uh, no, this is his room. <laughs> oh, I was like, how did he manage to do um, that? He was planning to make a, uh, a, a, like a briefcase exchange with this guy and uh, exiting the limo. Oh, I was going to say that casual guy in the gray shirt that we just talked about. <laughs> no, he's just a tourist. He's just very annoying. If you wanted, you can you could kill the guy without having to sedate the tourist, but I found him just extremely annoying. Um, you might not have seen this, but make sure you uh, put your ball, your silver ballers inside the briefcase. Like, once you pick up the briefcase, it'll give you the option to put item inside. Now we're on the 8th floor. So I noticed this says uh, DNA briefcase. Is this somehow relevant to you and cloning and all that? <laughs> That's actually clever you brought that up. I didn't think about that at all. Yeah, I was just sort of noticing that. Because your guy's like trying to destroy anyone else recreating someone like him, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, my guy wants to like own the monopolized business, according to according to that the guy in the wheelchair. Yeah. But that's an interesting theory. I'm sure it actually does have something to do with it. But what we're doing now is we're waiting for our target. He has to get all the way to the lounge in the top right before we can do anything. <laughs> so. So is 47 conscious he's a clone? Yeah, they're not like, okay. they're like, they're like, 
I was not sure like, there was sort of some sick thing where they were using him to destroy his own kind and he wasn't even aware of it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a plot like, that I've seen in movies. Yeah, it's sort of seems like what they could do. No, they they have like the full functions of a human. Yeah, reminds me of a... What is it? Oh, I should know. Okay. All right, now so he's entered the lounge. We're gonna activate the fire alarm. Make sure no one's looking. There's usually no one. No one is ever looking, but just double check. Pick up the suitcase again because he'll drop it by default when you activate it. Blade Runner. This one, man. Just because it's Blade Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, the reason I activate the alarm is so I can enter this room. If I didn't activate it, these guards wouldn't have ran out. Activate the phone on the desk, and immediately it'll go to dual screen. When that happens, you have to run for. The last bit, we'll, we'll head back to the elevator. Because what we just did there is we dialed our th- Sheik, the third target's phone, and he's gonna <laughs> try to take the call. That's how they're all standing there. Like, I'll take this one. <laughs> so I alone will take it. You guys can wait here. Like, it, this is like, there has to be like some kind of fire hazards because there is no staircase here. Yeah, I know there's no sprinklers were going or anything. Like, uh, if you actually talk to that woman at the counter, she'll give you your your own uh, card room key for your room. We don't need to use it, but you know, it's just a it's just a fun thing to do. But she'll say like the key cards only allow access to the floor that your room's on, meaning, of course, there wouldn't be staircases if that was implemented yeah. but as he, he searched us but since we had the fire the gun in the briefcase he we didn't get detected you know <laughs> which he's doing a horrible job at security if and every security guard fails to check the item in your hand <laughs> hello here's the last sure. time isn't this so easy take out your silver baller shoot him headshot bam and don't forget to leave him the suitcase. Where is outfit? <laughs> you think he'd want to take the suitcase? No. Yeah. It's not a su- the suitcase we're taking is this cash. Hmm. Oh, make sure not to go inside them. Like the you see, I'm I'm, I'm kind of like circling around. Make sure like don't go in like the main casino because the security camera will catch you, and uh. a security camera counts as a witness. Don't want that. Right. So, pick up the gun again. And the payment briefcase. Someone even opened the gate without taking the gun. Um, actually, if you haven't killed, if you haven't picking up, if you have not killed the guy with the briefcase, the gate would not be open and there would not be a limo there. <laughs> we just got our high roller achievement, which gives us the 5 million silent assassin, 10 minutes, 41 seconds. And not too bad, if I must say so myself. Oh, you might, you're gonna like the newspaper article. Silent assassin, wanted by police. See, don't you just love it? Did you take time to let me read it? No, uh, it's not this one, it's one of the side articles that you'll like. Beauty I make sure chips. To um, Sheikh Mohammed bin Fur. Yeah, this guy was like. This guy's criminal offense. He was, like, uh, he was like convicted that he was doing like, uh, pornos. Okay. He should have used the non-silence gun. Now they're thinking a professional did it. I know. I would love it if I read newspaper and I killed a guy and said, we think this was a hired, skilled professional. I was like, yes. <laughs> they won't assume it's me. Booyah. <laughs> One of his no, orgies a- is not the sheer pornographic vulgarity of the photo that generated interest so much as the cast characters. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Lions. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll see it in a minute. <laughs> when I originally read this article online, it <laughs> makes me laugh. Yeah, so I remember <laughs> I remember seeing you showing me it. Yeah. Because, like, this is clearly from the game. At first I was like, wow, right? is the game actually taken it from real events? <laughs> like, no, no, Will must be fooled. So the, the fight was called after just 12 minutes. 28 <laughs> fighters were declared dead on the scene, and the other 14 suffered severe critical injuries. That's when they decided to call it off, and everyone was incapable of fighting. <laughs> Like, it wasn't like the first three people did absolutely nothing, were just brutally murdered, like, well, let's see how this pans out. <laughs> well, they're not down and out yet. They still got most of their troops. <laughs> well, half now. <laughs> Maybe we should call it. Uh, Alright, there's, there's five stragglers still going on. Let's <laughs> Might as well go until the last ship is spent. So I went back to this. <laughs> Lion mutilates 42 minutes in Cambodian bridge fight. I just loved how it like, uh, dimmed out. That's the last thing you see. Yeah. Alright. So that's this episode. Goodbye. Uh, there, there's two more official levels, and then we're done. Hooray. Oh, we're not done. I still have to sh help you get a few other achievements. That I consider that a different series almost. <laughs> All right, goodbye.